In this tutorial, we learn how to find the components of a given vector. And to do that, we'll work through these four examples. So let's start with the one in the top left-hand corner here. To find this vector's components, all we need to do is place ourselves on this vector's tail and make our way up to the top of the arrow, making sure we only move horizontally and vertically. So let's go ahead. We can see that to get from this vector's tail, we need to move one, two units to the right, and one, two, three, four, five units upwards. That allows us to state that this vector is the vector two, five. In a similar way, we can find this vector's components. We place ourselves on the vector's tail and make our way to the tip of the arrow. Well, we can see that we need to move one, two, three units to the left, and one, two units downwards. So this vector's components are negative three, negative two. We carry on and find this vector's components. Placing ourselves on the vector's tail, we can see that to get to the tip of the arrow, we need to move one, two, three, four, five units to the right, and one unit upwards, which tells us that this vector has components five, one. Finally, looking at the vector in the lower right-hand corner here, placing ourselves on this vector's tail, we can see that we need to move one, two, three, four units to the right to reach the arrow's head. And that's all we have to do. And we don't need to move upwards or downwards in any way. So this vector has coordinates four, zero. And we're done. That's how to find a given vector's components. And that's it for this tutorial.